Que onda tu chacho arriba las manos Cabacho moreno penetra tu barrio Te enseño a rola cero rock back Vete, rrr, platiqué de esto pa' la gente Chantlazo, beat, la entregadazo Still got the coke and ramen Black Good morning, what's up, what's up? It's your boy El Gordito, and today we're gonna take a stroll through some of my old neighborhoods because I like reminiscing. You can see where we come up. Stay tuned. All right, here we are heading down the road from my house right now, and we're going to the east side of town. Kinda, we're kinda on the northeast side right now, but uh, I'm gonna take you to one of the places I started my childhood. So it's a nasty, rainy, stormy day, man. We're supposed to get we're supposed to get smashed by these storms today, as you can see. But um, it's uh, it's all right. Here we go on the road. So this is uh, this is this is East Fremont Street. It stretches from one end of the town to the next, so it goes from east to west, and right now we're traveling east. And, uh, man, that rain is really coming down, man. Oh, I wish there was a better day for this, but I ain't got nothing to do. There's my beloved Knights of Columbus Hall. All right, so as soon as we get a little bit closer, I'll turn the camera back on. So stay tuned. All right, so here we are on East Main. Now, <clears throat> the first place I'm gonna tell, take you to is uh, the Iowa Court Projects. Uh, there's two, two ways to uh, enter the projects, the Iowa Courts. I don't know, they got some kind of crazy name for them now, but they'll always be Iowa courts for me. But uh, this is the back way. And uh, this is also uh, the way to the uh, park where we used to uh, play as kids and stuff. I'm just gonna cruise through here nonchalantly because uh, it's against the law for me to be in here without a, uh... all right. So this is section eight. This is uh, one of the, uh, one of the places we grew up. Right here. And I actually used to live right over here in this uh, circle court. And all these, all these complexes are the same inside, but right there, I used to live at, uh, I think that's like five, yeah, 514 right there. And I think Jarvis used to live over here, I think. I can't remember, man, I'm getting old. So uh, these are the Iowa courts. Right now, fools are crazy over here at night, so I don't tell. Uh, come around here, but this is the back way out of them. And there's little cul-de-sacs and stuff around here, but that's cool. So, there's the outside of them right here. So yeah, now you gotta have a special permit to get to get in there, to be in there. My best friend used to live right there. All right, and this is Kiwanis Park. 
during the day when it's not raining. Catch a lot of these young brothers, sisters out here playing basketball. The softball field's locked up most of the time because this is the city of Galesburgs, but right here, man, this is where it all went down. Uh, me and uh, me and my friends used to come over here and play with them. Baseball. We grab a We grab a uh before man people used to dump shit out here like over back there about like back in that back in that area over there and uh, we'd always find legs to kitchen tables and make them baseball bats and then there was always rocks and stuff around here and uh we would play baseball with rocks but uh all right this is uh the iowa courts now i'm gonna take you before i lived here i did this kind of backward but before I lived here, I'm gonna take you to the other uh, housing authority that I lived in. So stay tuned. All right, here's some more of the east side. Kinda. There's a Galesburg Rescue Mission. That's the homeless shelter right there. That's where all the homeless stay. Here we are. This is, this is South Seminary Street. There's a high little grocery. Went there for years, man. My family still goes there. They got different owners now. But here we go. We're rolling up on the, they call this Prairie Land. Some more Section 8, so stay tuned. All right. This is where, I think this is probably one of my first homes, man. This is called Prairie Land right here. It's chill over here, though. I mean, I, think, I don't know. But I tell you where I used to live because I do show do remember. So, right here, apartment 36. Uncomfortable from people. Apartment 36, right there, where my grandmother lived. When I was, shoot, man, two two years old. I think I was two years old. And then, uh, let me back up out of this one. I was two years old. And then uh, my mom's and my dad's right after they got a divorce. My mom's lived right here on eight. She lived at eight right there. And anyway... I can remember running in the middle of the night all the way over to my grandma's, man, two or three in the morning. I can remember running over there, man, running out of the house. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is prairie land, man. And they go way back, man. This is just one section of them. So, uh, all right. But yeah, man, I really didn't really wasn't really old enough to be able to experience anything here but I know I live there all right so all right so now let me take you let me take you let me take you this way I'm gonna take you to the hood now my hood there was another housing project that my mom lived in for a while but I was older already and my dad had bought a house and shit, but uh, she lived in the McKnight's. And when I'd get mad at my dad, I'd go stay over there with her, but I never liked live there. But uh, let me take you to my hood, man. All right, so this is the 4th Street Bridge and uh, St. Patrick's Church where I grew up at. Right here, this is the new bridge, but right here, right at this very spot, uh, I had two of my best friends get killed. Uh, they were killed by a drunk driver. And yeah, man, it kind of fucked me up when I was a kid. Excuse my language. And he lived right there. And let me show you where uh, Mike lived. Man, we were young, man. We were on our way to the, we 
we're on our way to the uh, BNSF. We were on our way to the... Uh, they were on their way to Hilo. I went home to ask my dad if I could go with them. And by the time my dad told me no, I decided I was going to go anyway. And uh, and then uh, Big Nick and Mike live right there. Nick's still, still around, man, but Mike got killed. <clears throat> Rest in peace, my brothers. Yeah, man, that house is all overgrown. And then, uh, and then my boy, actually, we're kind of related, man, but uh, Tony Mendez, he lived right there in that house. And we just went by. So, anyway, right there. That's where Tony lived. Now his dad's passed, and the rest of his soul, they were killed by drunk drivers. This is Rogers Park. It never used to be called Rogers Park. And all this fancy ass equipment that you see there, they just put that in this year. But there wasn't nothing here, man, but a basketball court and one swing set. And this is where we used to hang out sometimes. So, and there's my church. God, man, I gotta get around this train. Stay tuned, hold up. Right. It's National Chocolate So here we go. So if you drink a chocolate milk, you might nope. Wait for them damn trans. All right, man, this is my neighborhood right here. Uh, this is predominantly uh, the Hispanic side of town. Um, they had the boxcar camps over here. Uh, the Mexicans and the the Mexicans and the blacks were segregated back in the day, and uh, a lot of our families lived in boxcars uh, from the railroad. A lot of our families lived in boxcars from the railroad because. Uh, we weren't allowed to live in town uh, with the white folks. Uh, so, uh, and there's actually a documentary on PBS where I have four or five family members that are on that documentary. Um, and it's called Boxcar People. But yeah, I mean, back in the, the, the even the late 60s, uh, the late 60s, uh, we were finally allowed to, to come in and purchase, purchase homes the Hispanics were. And then um, the Hispanics and the blacks, we, uh, I mean, this is our side of town, man. So uh, we hold it dear and dear. And uh, this is mostly all still uh, predominantly Hispanic and black. So uh, I know in most big cities, the Hispanics and the blacks don't get along, but here we do, man. We love each other. We gotta have each other's backs um, because uh, we went through the same persecutions. Um, you know, I can remember my uncle going to a restaurant here in town and he served in our United States military and he was home on leave and uh, it was downtown and uh, they wouldn't serve him. They told him to leave the restaurant because of the color of his skin, he was too brown. But uh, all right, this is Knox Street right here. The Campbell still live there, man. <laughs> the crazy ass. All right, here we go. So this is Brook Street. And uh, this is where uh, the Brothers of the South Side originated right here. It was a group of guys. And uh, so I live there, which is this is the Tom Medina house now. And then this is the, this is the old Martinez Townsville house. As you can see, it's boarded up, but uh, man, lots of houses boarded up over here now. Lots of houses, but uh, Deacon Duke, Deacon Duke, Duke still, Mr. Duke still lives there. But yeah, man, this is my hood, man. This is where, uh, this is where a lot of the, this is where all the Hispanics live, man. Still do, man. Little Mexico, little Mexico. Love it, man. This place is special to me. I drive through here every day, and if I can't get here that day, uh, I make sure I get here sometime during the week, but, uh, yeah, yep, all right, this is, uh, the boulevard, man, back in the days of the 90s, man, the boulevard was popping, man, that's when gang culture was really, man, it was really, man, you had the Gangster Disciples, the Latin Kings, uh, you had the Guest Boys, uh, I mean, it was really popping, Right here, there was a young man a few years ago that just got shot and killed right here. Um, 
so rest in peace. But this right here is, uh, this is South Street. That was the Boulevard, South Street, the Boulevard and the Tompkins Street, man. This is where, where uh, this is where shit went down back in the day. And uh, pretty much uh, Tompkins Street was ran by uh, Hispanic gangs, there was a few. The house ain't even there, man. Where one of the one of the Hispanic gangs originated here, but um, it's gone now. Um, this is Del Kelly Todd lot, but this is where uh, the Parks family, uh, Parks family, the Magruder family, uh, the Aguirres. Uh, my dad even owned a house right up here that he rented, man. But yeah, uh, George Carter still lives over here. But yeah, man, this is Tompkins Street, man. A lot of shit went down here, man. But uh, back in the 90s, uh, if you wanted to crack cocaine, man, this is where you would come to get it. I mean, there was, there'd be dudes standing everywhere, all up and down the block, man. It was pretty lucrative, man. And then uh, they, they uh, you know, of course, the cops aren't done, man. And this is uh, taking you around here. So this is the quick Sam's right here. With all the bars on the window now. And the Werco gas station used to sit on the corner right there. And there used to be a house right there. And then there was a barber shop with the pool table in the back where uh, we used to go and uh, play pool. He'd let us in there and play pool because they kept us off the streets. But. And, uh, all right, so, and this is Knox College, where my daughter currently goes to college. It's the Harvard of the Midwest, and it's right in the middle of the hood, man. But there's a lot of security, so. So, all these neighborhoods are connected. Now we're headed, to, uh, we're headed down South Street. I used to live down here, too, man. Man, we lived everywhere. God, I wish it wasn't raining today, but I'm doing this video to take my mind off of other things, so. All right, I'm gonna take you back here. Now, this is the Varian Street Projects. Now they call them Whisper and Hollow. They ain't Whisper and Hollow to me. They'll always be Varian Street. But uh, a lot of shit's been popping off over here lately, man. They had a, they've had a lot of gun violence over here. Now, this is the Ponce's that's a Ponce house, that's a Ponce house. But this is the Varian Street right here. I know what you're thinking. Damn, there's a lot of projects in this town. Yeah, there is, there's a lot of poverty. So I'm gonna take you back to the cut. So when we were running from the police, this is the cut, man, right here. The cut, right back here. And uh, back in all this, it's one of Gelsberg's oldest restaurants. And it's the Taco Hideout. The Taco Hideout. John's Taco Hideout. It has been here since a little after the boxcar days. The Perez family has owned this John's Taco Hideout, it was called. It's been in the family for, I'm just gonna say a gazillion years right now. So, this is the Berrien Street, right here. As you can see. That house right there, there used to be an after hours in the garage in the back, back in the 90s, no, back in the early 80s, late 80s, there was a after hours there, and then there was an after hours right there. This is, family used to own this. This is uh, Andrew's Lounge. It'll always be Andrew's Lounge for me. 
But uh, this is a minority bar. Uh, my cousins used to hang out in there, but this was one of the main spots for the dopers, man. All them crackheads used to come down here. I know I shouldn't say crackheads, but that's what they was. I mean, that's what they buy a lot of their dope, man. There'd be dudes riding around on bikes and shit. As you can see, man, there's a lot of liquor stores around here. All right, man, this rain won't stop, man, but right here, man, is where I ended up. My family still occupies this home, my Aunt Rita. Wow. By the way, I sold them both them cars in the driveway. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, my aunt lives there. And, uh, I got a grandmother that lives right here. Right down there. Right down there in that blue house. And uh, right up here. Man, this rain is bad. Right up here is uh, was my Aunt Anita's house, which my family still owns this house right here. You can hardly see. Right here, my family still owns this house. My cousin Nick was murdered in this house. Uh, they still have not solved that murder, but uh, he was shot and killed. And uh, his Cadillac, was ransacked they cut the seats open it was sitting right there but i watched the police drag my cousin down them stairs he was a very heavy man and uh that's where my cousin was murdered all right y'all so man this rain is getting bad torrential rain i'm gonna head home and uh you know my mom moved away from here when i was a teenager and and um, she just recently moved back like a few months ago like last May she moved back but I remember being a kid when she lived in the housing projects in East Moline uh, there was a rival gang that was driving through I can't remember if it was the Lowriders or the, or the Mickey Cobra I can't remember who it was if it was Mickey Cobras or who but uh, me and my mom we were sitting outside on the hood of her car talking to her friends outside uh outside of the projects and uh, man my mom loved them projects <laughs> but uh that was the first time that was the first time i'd ever got shot at and uh man i, I man I, of course i was a lot thinner back then so i was able to uh crawl underneath the car and you can hear the uh you can hear the rounds ricocheting off of the off of the buildings and off of the vehicles man and uh, I told my mom she better run I left her ass sitting on top of the car and said I was a teenager man I had one instinct and that was to get down and and find cover so that's what I did I got down and I found cover <laughs> back I'm headed back home and, uh, oh man, look at that water. Man. Water is bad. So uh, I'm headed back home, man. I'm headed back to the north side of town now. That's where I live. When I first moved over here, man, I was like, hmm. I didn't. I'd never been out of the neighborhood before. Now I love it, man. It's been my home for like 20 years. Yeah, man, this rain's getting really bad, folks. I'm just about home, and then I'll sit and talk to y'all a little bit. But yeah, I'm still going north. I live way north of where we used to live, where I grew up. All right, well, I will see you guys at home so stay tuned always win let's do it one more time come on y'all
right, man. So I gave you a little clippings of my neighborhoods, where I grew up. I gave you a little tidbit, a history of Galesburg, the Galesburg, the minority side of Galesburg. And uh, you know what, really look into, look into the boxcar people. Uh, when my family first got here, uh, like I said, man, we were forced to live, my family was forced to live in boxcars because uh, they wouldn't let brown people in Galesburg, Mexicans, blacks. Uh, you were Italian. You were anything but white. You had to sit outside them city limits. But that's okay. We overcome. We've overcome. And now, pretty much, they're the minority. We're the majority. And you got to remember that. Young people. I know I got some young people that watch my, my YouTube. Get educated. Get your education. Don't uh, don't be a knucklehead, man. Because I was a knucklehead, and I I struggle to survive still every day. Even though God has blessed me with a roof over my head, and uh, I've overcame a lot in my life, and I'm still overcoming tribulations. Still to this day, you know. I, uh, you know, there's a lot of bullying and, and, and things that go on today. And man, you think, you think Jesus would want you to be bullying people and calling people names and, and all this? No, man, he wants us to love everybody. And I'm not, I'm not going to preach to you, but, uh, life is about loving everybody because he loved you so much that he died for you. He died for us sinners and uh, you know we got to take that up and uh, we just have to be good people you know I was tested yesterday and uh, I was tested yesterday and this dude was trying to bully me around and um, I didn't let it happen you know uh, now I didn't get violent although I could have got violent Trust me, I got some gangster in me that that I don't want to let out. I don't want to see that part of me. And I, you, I, I probably won't ever see that part of me again unless somebody hurts my family. But I got a lot of, I got a lot of motherfucking gangster in me still. But anyway, no, I'm just kidding. No, I do. But I, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, you know, he tried to antagonize me. He tried to push my buttons. He tried to get me to do everything he could for me to strike at him. And I didn't, man. I didn't. Because that was the evil one. And that dude is evil. That dude is a piece of shit. And he will never have anything good in his life. Nothing. Uh, because he doesn't know... He doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to live. He doesn't know how to live. So, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. And I'm praying for him. But uh, like I said, I ain't gonna preach to y'all. But kids, don't be knuckleheads. Don't bully. Get along with everybody. Take everybody in under your roof. Everybody, be friends with everybody. Because uh, I tell you what, man, I got some pretty darn good friends right now. And uh, life is good. No matter what I'm going through, and I've been going through some stuff, life is still good. Don't take it for granted. Because, uh, you know, hug your loved ones. Tell them you love them. So anyway, you're going to be seeing some more of my cooking videos. I'm going to be at tomorrow's homecoming game at ghs so uh if you see me if you see me at ghs tomorrow at the homecoming game give me a shout man because i'm gonna be putting some uh, I'm, I'm gonna be youtubing and uh good luck to the galesburg silver streaks good luck to uh one of my own running back 
Dylan McBride. He's like a son to me. Um, man, I've been I've been around that boy since he was like in sixth or seventh grade. Anyway, thanks to my daughter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love that boy. But good luck to all of them. I pray for no injuries. And I hope you kick Rock Island's ass. For now, this is El Gordito. Peace and chicken grease. Take my advice. Love everybody. Bye. So oh.